All right, we just stop uh, for a minute to give you a tip, guys. So when we go on runs here, we are really lucky because in the same time, we can get our black bean. Black bean grow here and so we can harvest when we go on the run. So this is, you know, how they are. They, they grow in the snow. Yeah. They are fresh. You could even eat them right now. You don't even need to cook them. They are, they are already soft. They taste a little weird, but I mean, I don't know. I like them. So I think they taste better in a soup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's it. The tip of the day. No worries, you're welcome. I just completed my first training run with my new goal of becoming a professional runner. <laughs> so I pushed really, really freaking hard and almost died. Anyway, we made it to the top in Gwen Snowshoed. Yeah, I didn't know it was even possible to run that. But I'm, no shoes. I'm telling Gwen, like, I'm vibrating so high, my frequency, that gravity is no longer affecting me. <laughs> so I can just run on the top of the snow. I don't know, I guess I'm light enough that I don't go through. Or oh, maybe I just packed the trail for you. Yeah, a little bit. It was pretty cool. This is the first time I've ran up this since the summertime. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and today was hard. Really hard because the snow is really heavy. Temperature went up, so it's really moist, heavy. Was, but what? We made yeah. it! Look at that. Thankfully, you brought me some dates. Wiley wanted to save some energy, <laughs> so he's waiting there. <laughs> I know, he, he, knows, he knows we're gonna turn back, so. He was already like, <laughs> he already met me down there on the trail, like, he was ready to go back. So I'm really excited about my new goal and I just want to put it out there. And I told you when we were at the top of the trail, but it's to become a professional trail runner. Yeah, I said it, did it. It's public. I know that's kind of a crazy goal. Um, it's a big goal, it's huge. And the thing is, is it's kind of been in the back of my mind for a year now. We've only been running consistently for a year. We started running like, first really running ever in 2012. And it was not consistent until last year. And the other day I was thinking about it and thinking about my goals and what I really want. You know, I've been really curious about my potential and I just figured that unless I go for it, I'm gonna look back at my life and just be like, wow, like, you know, I was a pretty good runner finishing, you know, in the top 10 women consistently and I wonder if I would, you know, how good I could have been. And I don't want to look back at my life and have any regrets later on. So I've decided to just go for it. So I guess over the next few years, who knows how long it's going to take. We're going to bring you guys along so you guys get to see what our training's like. And if I make it, you know, it's going to be like a little reality TV show. Can Katie make it as a pro runner? I don't know. I mean, yes, I do think I can. I do. What do you think? I put my money on her. Okay, and also as we were running, we decided that I definitely can't do it alone. I need a coach because if it was all up to me, like Gwen said, I would like go all out the first week and then get injured. So Gwen's gonna write me a training plan. Yeah, setting uh, big, big uh, goals um, is definitely putting yourself in a situation of higher risk of failure and so uh, this is not a reason for not setting that goal. Failing is not uh, negative, failing is just um, you know moving forward, learning that you know maybe there is another way, maybe we, maybe we need to do it differently. If you never fail that means you just never try something that was hard enough. So uh, definitely I mean you know like I think failing is, is definitely positive and I love to, you know, like it's hard to handle it, but uh, I, you know, I'm always glad when I fail something and I realize, you know, maybe that was too hard, so I need to do it differently, I need to be more prepared, I need to modify something, I need to, and it's, it's not the end. Uh, failing is not the end of anything, failing is just uh, along, the, along the way and it's part of the, it's part of the adventure. 
And definitely, this is kind of a scary thing for me to do, like put this goal on YouTube for you guys all to see. I mean, for it to be this public. Yeah, it's easy to say once you've accomplished that goal and once you're a pro runner, like you can put it out there. But right now, just saying, you know, that I'm gonna try to become a professional trail runner is, yeah, I feel a little vulnerable for sure doing that. But I think it's gonna only help me grow and become stronger and discover my true potential. So. That's what I'm going for. I've also decided on what my first 100 mile race is gonna be this year. And it's gonna be the same one Gwen's doing, the Raid de Gulf in France. 100 mile, and I'm going for the win. I'm yeah. not going for fifth place, I'm not going for 10th place, I'm going for number one. It's actually 110 miles. 110 miles. You know, as much as I wanna be your crew and I wanna help you win, I wanna win too. So, that's what I'm doing. We just did it! You've registered! What does it say? What does it say? Um, what does it say? What does it say? What? Yeah, what? The, what? The, what? The what? Doing it! Raid to go number one. This is the cutest little thing. I think we need to pick him up. Let's get him some food. He's in my hoodie and he wants to stay with me. We're gonna feed him. There you go. Are you eating? Yeah. Yay. You guys can see him? 